Kids Like Me, Voices of the Immigrant Experience. Meet six teens who are from different parts of the world. Now they live in cities and towns across the United States. They have families and friends in the U.S., yet they remember and still observe some of the customs of their culture from home. This is true whether their native country is South Korea, Peru, French, Guyana, Iraq, Somalia, or Ethiopia. Why did you come to the United States? Yoonji, my dad is in business school. We followed my dad. Hewan, education is a top priority in my family. My mother, older brother, and I are here for my education. Getting into medical school is my goal. My family supports this. Libin, we are in the U.S. to have a better life. We are now away from the wars. We can get a good education for me and my sister. We are also free to be ourselves. Adib, we are here because of war in our home country. Anne Rose, my parents are from Haiti. They moved to French Guyana, where I was born. Now we are in the U.S. We moved because my parents want a better and safer life for our family. Manuel, I want a better education. I also want more opportunities to succeed in life. Unfortunately, my parents are still in Peru. They are working and taking care of my eight-year-old brother. I live with my aunt. What is different about living in the United States? Yoonji, school rules in Korea are a lot stricter than here. In Korea, we cannot have pierced ears or noses. We cannot have long hair or even colored hair clips. Hewan, American families do not seem that close-knit. However, Ethiopian families are. Unlike American families, we share our food from one big plate. The entire family sits around the table, then we all eat out of one dish. Libin. In Somalia, there is no bus transportation. Everyone walks. People have cars, but everyone is close by. The store is next door. Your uncle is next door. Adib. My mom says she noticed that in the U.S. you do not have as many relatives living with you as we do in Iraq and Lebanon. Another thing is different is school. There are more classes in school in Iraq and Lebanon. Also, children and teens have to be more polite than American kids are to adults. When you talk to your teacher or when you're called on in class, students must first stand. Then you can ask or respond to the question. Anne Rose, there are many similarities between French, Guyana, and America. Manuel, in Peru, family is the main value. Families always get together on weekends or at any holiday. The people and communities in Peru are closer to each other than in the neighborhoods in the U.S. The people in Peru don't have a lot of extra money to spend, so people are more helpful to each other. They try to find a way to help each other. They do things like selling food at cheap prices. What advice do you have for people who move to the United States? Yunji, ask many questions. That way you learn about the person you were talking to. You can also learn about American culture. Hey Juan. Quickly make friends in order to learn the language and culture. With their help, it is easier to settle into a new country. Friends can also make it easier to adjust to the different customs and ideas. Libin, be yourself. That is the main thing. Do not put yourself down. Do not let anybody put you down. Work hard, talk to people. Ask for help if you need it. Say what you want to say, other than bad words. Adib, play sports to meet new people. Make an effort to be social and talk with people in your classes. This is hard at first. Anne Rose, get involved in everything you can. The more things you get into, the more opportunities you have to learn, understand, and appreciate life. Manuel, I have one piece of advice. Don't be lazy.